Okay, so let's, what do you do about pricing and guidelines? One thing I do is in general, I'm just giving you very general, like if you have no idea where to start, I say just take the cost, let's say you're gonna sell an eight by 10 print. Whatever, how much does the eight by 10 print cost? 220, I think you could give an even lower at Costco if you wanted, right? Whatever, okay, like a let's say it costs $2. So then you would say $2 times $3, I'm charging $6, wow, I'm six times, the, I mean three times the amount, I guess I'll charge my eight by 10 for $6, right? But then what you fail to account for is the time that it took you to produce that print, the editing and all that kind of stuff. So you have to account for that. And so that's really what your price is, is the cost of the goods plus your time equals your price. And so hourly service. And so what I felt like, if I could do this on the weekday, not on a weekend, and I could do this job any time of the week or I could job it out, I would have a lower hourly rate for that particular service. Because A, I could either job it out or it's on the weekday where I'm not as busy, I could charge lower at that point. And so I suggest entry level, maybe start at $50 an hour to begin with. Um, if you're a little bit more experienced, $100 an hour. And if you're at the expert level, you could be $200 to $400 an hour that you base your professional services on. Dude, I just see it like a doctor, man. What would they charge, right? And if you're at that level, then hey, she should be charging that same amount too. Uh, and so I think that's just a guideline to start at. Now, what's your hourly weight on the weekend? That's different because why? That's where I make all my money. So I have to make the highest amount of money on the weekend. If I have to do it on the weekend, then I'm gonna charge you more because I've only got 50 weekends to make all my cash. So if it's a service that I have to do at the weekend, then it's gonna be more. Um, and it could be double, triple, quadruple. So when I kind of did my business, if I could do it during the week, I would say, ah, just price it about $100 an hour. That's what I'm gonna charge, okay? But then when it came to the weekend, I'm gonna be at $400 an hour because that's where I need to make my money. Uh, and so that's, that's kind of in general how I priced myself. Okay, my income was derived from weddings mostly, so that's where I had to gain my money. So if it's a weekend event, it's a premium. And if I'm not, one thing I learned too, is if I'm not making a lot of money on the weekend, I could have spent, be spending it with my family. And so you don't want your family getting mad at you. And that's another huge issue, is sometimes when we do things for cheap, everybody wins. You win because you're getting business and you get to promote your business. The client wins because they're getting a great price, but who loses? Your family loses every single time. You don't want to lose that, okay? You don't want to lose that part. So you, you keep doing things for cheap. You keep doing things for this. Yeah, I'm feeling good. My business is going, whatever. You take all your weekends away and you're doing it for 200 bucks or whatever it is, right? And you're taking all that time away from the things that are really important to you.